so your DNA ain't gonna match. <clears throat> All this shit is about blood and it's about rights. <clears throat> and the system is played according to the ones who rise up in the families with the blood and the right to exercise their jurisdiction. Right? It's a self-realization process. By learning who you are without nobody having to tell you, without no DNA test, just from the perception of what you've been taught through your family lineage. And then you use that as the first frame of reference to see the world. My mama made it clear to me from a little bitty boy that we wasn't from Africa. Right? She told me about our birthrights. <clears throat> I don't need nobody to tell me that. My mama educated me on our tribal rights. So when we come into this reality, it's rules to the game. But don't nobody tell you the rules. You got to learn them by trial and by error. Mm -hmm. Because the pain and the suffering of the struggle builds the character to be able to endure to, to the end. Mm -hmm. Right. So all these is manipulations of energy. Mm -hmm. And this ties into the reincarnation cycles. And um, most people having the time of their life experiencing misery on Earth. Because mm -hmm. they might come from a planet that never had anything like it. <clears throat> misery is unique to the human emotional spectrum mm -hmm. in the animals of the Earth. Mm -hmm. Other species don't have emotions. Mm -hmm. Are we so, the only species with emotion, Rod? Are we the only in the universe? Are we the only one species with emotions? Um, no, but a lot of them don't have them. A lot of them are pathologically sociopathic by nature. Uh -huh. oh, you have to be able to think that walk them through it linear logic. Right. They don't have that emotional energy. That's a side effect of mitochondria, by the way. Emotion is a side effect of mitochondria. Yeah. OK. Because mm. it's the feminine transfer of energy. in high volume into the DNA. Mm. All of the energy that powers the DNA comes through the mitochondrial in the cell. The mitochondrial is the powerhouse of the cell. So the right brain processes the second heart or the second brain as the heart. So you think with your heart and you think with your brain. Mm -hmm. You got to match them, intelligence and affection. Mm -hmm. Right? That's how you produce wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get these two energies to flow at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's what they call balancing your chi. Mm -hmm. Right. By balancing your chi, you cause all four chambers of the brain <clears throat> to beat in harmony, activating both left and right hemispheres simultaneously on the same beat. Mm -hmm. This creates a stronger and more powerful vacuum to pull the gold elixir from the coccyx tail region all the way up the spine in order to illuminate the mind. They mm -hmm. call it the christening process. Right. <clears throat> right. And this is where you receive your Christ consciousness. It's all part of the game of life. Mm -hmm. We go through cycles. We didn't been through so many cycles. It's starting to get hard to come up with new ways to entertain the guys as a human. Mm. Mm. Hey, Rod, we talked about, um, you know, these entities that existed before, um, you know, Tahuti, you saying you was an incarnation of Tahuti at one time. We talked about um Enlil, we talked about all these entities. Mm -hmm. Um, the entity known as Jesus, probably the most popular entity. Jesus is world. ISIS. Okay, so Jesus is ISIS. Now, if Jesus is ISIS, hmm, that's interesting. If Jesus is ISIS, it's ISIS in Greek. Uh-huh. And they just translated as Jesus into the English language. But the J only 500 years old. How long ago did Jesus supposed to have been here? Well, we hear we hear so many stories of Tahuti and the different names like Tahuti, Hermes, mm -hmm. 
um t uh the what's the american name the t-o t-o you talking yeah. about question Cotto. right so what about isis isis jesus what's the isis is the great mother the queen of heaven and earth she's known in sumeria as inana inana or ninma like like il nana remember foxy brown il nana <laughs> yeah so the, the uh the the great mother that came with inky yeah she had a pact with the prime creator to produce a protector for the earth and this is how the women decided to create men. Mm -hmm. As protectors of the earth. Yeah. Protectors of the women. And the women were supposed to be the caretakers of the earth. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to assist them and protect them while they go out and grow the herbs that heals the babies. Right. They supposed to be able, we, like we fight lions or gorillas or bears or moose. Yeah. To protect the women, because the women are gonna raise our next generation. This is the, to secure your future. So when you get done living this life, you creating the terms of agreement for the next life you incarnate in. You look at it like a radio station. Your DNA codons align to a frequency. Mm -hmm. The codons of the DNA is is uh is alkaline crystal. And crystals relay information. <clears throat> the information attunes the DNA to set the frequency in which it produces the individual by building it up cell by cell. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So once you get into the form of an adult human, you should be able to communicate with every cell in your body. But they mm -hmm. take the knowledge from you. Mm -hmm to confuse you so that you can make an error in this life that you have to pay for in the next one. Mm. Mm. These are the, the basic laws of uh, energy conservation. Mm -hmm. Entropy. They, can, they know how to harness the decay of the entropy on the dark side at a negative energy in order to generate positive progressive energy. Right, right. Right. So taking dark forces, using them to produce things to assist the light. Mm -hmm. In other words, man, light bulbs. So the house ain't dark. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right. So it requires the entropy, the breakdown in the energy in order for the energy to alter form. Mm -hmm. When the energy begin to move, it produces friction, which generates light. Mm hmm. And from the darkness come the light. That's all e Egyptian science. Mm -hmm. Right? And the Egyptian science come from over here. The mm -hmm. temple priests was all priests of the order of Tahuti who went to teach all the people of the world mm -hmm. by setting up universities of all types all around the world according to the culture of the people in the local area. Mm -hmm. The goal was is not you're not supposed to upset the culture of the people with the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did exactly the opposite to us. But our mm -hmm. culture persisted and it bubbled up in the blues, R and B, altered the music. Right? And then you get into hip hop. Mm -hmm. And hip hop become the most powerful aspect of our culture. And it also become the most powerful vehicle to transfer information from tribes, chief to tribe, chief, without them ever seeing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put it in a song. Indeed. Uh, Rod, in terms of, you know, earlier you talked about women creating men to protect them. Uh, in terms of reincarnating in this realm, many people have asked, can you reincarnate into different races? What I want to know is, can you reincarnate into different genders? Like, you talked about you being Tahuti. Have you ever been a woman in a past life? Can we talk about some of your past lives? Like, have you been a woman in the past I life? I always come back as the protector. Always come back as a protector. Is it possible yeah. to go as from a woman, one life? Yeah. Okay. Some of, some of the, that's some of the contracts that people choose before they incarnate. Mm -hmm. They might choose a seven life path. That means they make an agreement. They want to live seven distinct different types of lives before they finish their university degree. Interesting. Very interesting. Wow. 
So in each incarnation, which is just another semester of university on Earth, but they beat and lived all of the seven lives that they put into as they wanted their curriculum to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and you can end it at any time just by waking up to who you are. You can take, you can get out the out the matrix. Mm -hmm. Would you say every death is an assisted suicide because essentially it's mind over matter, and whenever a person dies, they essentially want to die. Would you call it a assisted suicide? Every death? No, not necessarily. It could be a um, it could be in their soul contract. It could be in their soul contract. Your, your soul contract is your curriculum for the semester. Ooh, <laughs> what's just your semester is your lifetime. Yeah. Okay. This is and when you, you you get multiple semesters, that's why I say you might have a seven life degree. Yeah. Where you got to get seven life experiences of seven different kinds in order to graduate from University of Earth and get your degree. Rod, how many times would you say you've been down here, my brother? Just curious. Somebody like yourself. You know a lot. How, how many times has Rod been in this round? I lost count. Give me a... But sometimes I don't never come to f full consciousness as to who I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Like now, I, I like I, now it was it was required uh -huh. to break the conjure that had us discussing which side of the water we come from. Mm. This was a, this was a voodoo conjure. It was ritualistically done in Masonic lodges. Mm -hmm. The overt. Uh, paper genocide was the paper trail for us to trace back what they did to switch us out and put us off in the um, trail of tears and switch us out with the Dawes Row Indians, the five dollar Indians, mm -hmm. the ones they brought over as servants. Mm -hmm. We ain't never supposed to be able to read the history books and know who their mortal enemies was until the French Revolution and the Spanish Inquisition. In the expulsion of the Moors from Spain. So we supposed to be so convinced that we Moors that we don't know what side of the water we from. Mm -hmm. I'm Mississippi clay dirt. Mm -hmm. I know I'm from over here. I have I have multiple lives of going through the bayou in Louisiana to my big mama to be blessed again to come back in a lifetime. Mm. And then this time, I end up having to go see her in the inner city. I automatically knew from birth something is wrong. I didn't know what it was yet, though. Mm -hmm. So over the years, we learned to read the language that the other elders put into the community. Mm -hmm. Then they sent us from community to community, learning the local languages of the local clans. We call it the local slang or the local lingo. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their little way they use tribal tongue to flip code. Mm -hmm. And you have to be exposed to a certain amount of tribes in order to read what's called the Grand Tribe Design. Mm -hmm. The Grand Tribe Design tells the other chiefs to organize, organize, and then organize. It's time to reclaim the land. Mm -hmm. They can't stop what's coming. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And this is all part of the the big graduation ceremony. Mm -hmm. The the final hurrah. What's the big, the big What's the graduation said all of the seniors getting out. Who's the seniors? What do you mean? Uh, you got? <laughs> the different masters, they'd be seen. Right? They all graduate to their elder seats. I remember you told me there's a lot of masses down here right now. You told me that, right? Yeah. yeah. They come from all different eras in time to incarnate at the end to get their graduation caps. Right, right. Mm. Wow. Let me ask you this, Rod. So we got something that we call down here. People say, oh, you are old. So a lot of people have told me I'm old. So or sometime if a person act a certain way, they'll say, oh, they're a young soul. Now, if we all come from this primordial soup, a.k.a. Big Mama, a.k.a. God, or whatever term we want to use, we all emanate from that. And some of us are old souls. We've been down here a while. What the hell were the young souls doing? What, 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 since they weren't okay, down first here? Of all, first of all, you have to attach your ego to the soul. 
You have to give it an identity. Mm. Doing this <clears throat> by creating an identity, the personality type is aligned to a frequency, just like a radio station. Yeah. Every time you come back, you could be born in a different family, but your radio station on the same frequency in the DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can only broadcast you through. You're the only one can fit through your template. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then sometime through the merger and the flipping the new DNA helixes off the RNA DNA exchange, a new strain comes up. Right? That's a new piece of information to be shared and then the change can also be seen in the species. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what, what I want to know, Rod, is if the soul is young and they weren't down here, where were they lingering? Were they on other planets? Were they still in that oneness? It's like where this. When the, when the desktop computer first came out, what happened mm -hmm. when the laptop came out? The, the desktop had to evolve and get smaller in order right. to compete with the laptop. Right, right. Okay. The laptop was portable, can go anywhere. It's still a computer. It's just mm. a different personality type. Mm. Right? But the dull desktop had to adapt in order to not be left behind by the laptop. Right. That's the, <clears throat> the level of upgrades. Species go through the same levels of upgrades. Mm-hmm. The codes from different positions and seasons of the sun and it's a communication with the earth tells the earth what to tell us to morph into next. What they call mm -hmm. evolution of species. It's a communication. It's mm -hmm. a code. Mm -hmm. And the DNA, this is what's so important about cracking DNA codes and study of epigenetics and the sequence of the two. Because then you get to realize that you projected from somewhere else into this body. Right. You identify the body with the name. Right. But the body ain't the name. The name is just a way that you express to get your attention. Mm -hmm. This is the mental, what they call lock and trigger. Mm -hmm. So after you become programmed with your name, you take on the identity, you begin to build an ego. Everything that somebody say about you that you accept is true becomes part of your ego. And that's your false self. Because you never tested any of that information, you just accepted it. But when you start to know yourself, all of those things start to fade away. They call that the purification of the ego. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the whole esoteric philosophy behind the occult and the mystic uh, schools of thought being expressed through religion and redundant application. Religion is just a redundant application summed over and over. Yeah. Right? But religion comes